Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. We're here in a house uh, in South Austin, Austin, Texas. This house was originally built in the 50s and we're just completing a whole house remodel. And as you can see, we did a gorgeous kitchen in this house. The clients are big, uh, are big foodies. In fact, uh, they both really like to cook. And we put in a, a gigantic gas range, a really nice DCS with a lot of power. But this house is very, very tight. We've spray foamed the entire envelope on this house, and uh, we're around 0.2 air changes uh, per hour natural, which means that it takes about five hours for the air to exchange out of this house through natural infiltration, which is very low. And uh, because of that, when we've got this really big hood fan above here that's going to draw those gases out, we need to figure out a way to bring air in when we want to bring air in what they call makeup air. It's seen in commercial kitchens quite a bit. You don't see it in the residential use very often, but as houses get tighter, um, combustion appliances and things that are, that are trying to vent out of your house just have a hard time venting them out because there's no air uh, flowing in. So in this case, we've tied a, uh, a makeup air system from the outside. This duct right here runs from the outside of the house. We're not quite done yet, so that's why there's a little touch up in here, but this damper right here is connected up to the, uh, to the vent, and so when we turn this vent fan on, I'll turn this on for a second here, there's a switch to turn the fan on, and then there's several settings, but when it goes into medium or high mode, this vent fan automatically kicks a servo on here, which opens up that damper. And because uh, these clients wanted a slightly taller countertop height, uh, I'm about 6'2", and you can see this is a fairly tall countertop. I think our countertops in here are 42 inches to the top of the counter. We used a platform underneath this, uh, this DCS range, and so that pipe is going into this platform, and then underneath the platform there's a void in there, so that uh, it's connected up to here, and this vent on the back, basically there's a curtain of makeup air that will, uh, that will wash over the cooktop and out through the outside. Let's run outside real quick, and I want to show you what the uh, what the air intake looks like, just because it's real, really easy to get to. So the kitchen's on the other side of us here. We're just about to install this hood. You can see this is a really cool hood. This is a Seho, and it's basically going to slide in here and uh, and connect up. In fact, I can I can show you what it's going to look like. So great looking, fairly modern looking hood. And so now when they turn that vent fan on on high they're actually going to be able to, to get the required CFMs out of there. Thanks for joining me, and if you're building a really tight house like this, and you're, especially if you're using gas uh, cooking, consider doing some makeup air because you're likely not going to be able to truly vent the amount of CFMs out of your vent without some makeup air. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next time.